Il y a des fois un peu trop de tranquillité. Il faut quand même dire aux gens que... Ah, oui, oui, que... Low turnout is Marie-Georges Bouffet's number one enemy. The member of parliament is fighting to keep her seat in this suburb north of Paris, one of the last communist party strongholds left in France. Here, 67% of residents did not vote in the first round. As she campaigns for round two, the candidate has come to support the shop workers. Their employer plans to cut 26 jobs. Workers are becoming destitute with all these labor market reforms. This is the new right wing, and Emmanuel Macron's candidates embody it. We didn't manage to win the presidential elections, but for the parliamentary elections, we have to fight against Macron's candidates and their right wing policies. The candidate running for Emmanuel Macron's party is also hoping to win over those who didn't vote in round one. Prisca Teveno is an entrepreneur who was born and raised in the constituency. She scored 25% of the vote in the first round, eight points behind her communist rival. The president's candidate believes that as part of a majority in parliament, she would be best placed to make changes for the community. Here, we've had 20 years of cronyism. They've been sending people to sleep, promising them miracles at every election. But at the end of the day, nothing changes. If the communist candidate gets in, again, nothing will change because she won't hold any sway in parliament. The big loser in France's parliamentary elections is the Socialist Party. Here, the local candidate, Nadja Amzal, came in fifth place with less than 7% of the vote, a far cry from the 30% she won in 2012. Back then, an agreement between left-wing parties meant she stepped down to allow Marie-Georges Buffet to win the second round. But this time, she doesn't know who to vote for. Obviously, I'm left-wing, so you'd think I would support the communist candidates. But I'm also keen to see change in politics. I won't lie, neither candidate will be my first choice. I don't support either of their programmes. Right up until the last minute, I could change my mind. Jusqu'à la dernière minute, je peux encore changer d'avis. Unlike last time, voters here have two candidates to choose from in the second round. They have to decide whether to stay a communist stronghold or vote for the president's new party.